As one of the oldest car brands in the world and the second oldest in the United States, Cadillac can attribute its creation to a bust-up between Henry Ford and some of his backers. The Ford story, of course, is rather well known, but Cadillac's is also rather notable, not least of all for the number of automotive firsts the company is credited with having achieved. Formed in 1902, Cadillac earned a reputation for reliability and prestige. It introduced firsts that include electric headlights and the electric starter motor and gave buyers a premium vehicle with a focus on speed. But it's the 1912 Cadillac Model 30 that's the subject of today's test and with us is the owner, Craig Emerson. Craig, thanks for your time, mate, and what a beautiful car. Thanks, Matt. It is a beautiful car. We're exceptionally proud of it, but it wasn't always like this. When it was new, the Cadillac Model 30 sold for $1,890 or around $100,000 in today's money. It's fitted with a square bore 4.6 litre four cylinder engine and is mated to a sliding gear transmission. It develops nearly 30 kilowatts of power and rides on a three metre wheelbase, just shorter than that of the new Toyota Hilux. The 1300 kilo Caddy rolls on 25 inch American Hickory wheels and pneumatic tyres and is arrested by rear wheel drum brakes. Engine lubrication uses a total loss system where the oil travels through the engine before exiting the rear main bearing and out onto the ground. Our 1912 Cadillac is actually made up of two cars and three different engines. This Caddy was actually rebuilt in the late 1950s. By 1960, it had travelled over most of Australia and most of the USA as well, including 7,600 miles in various rallies and tours. Some of the engine internals are actually borrowed to improve the reliability, but essentially it's unchanged in terms of its specifications, operation and output. As well as looking at the 1912 Cadillac today, Craig's also been kind enough to teach me how to start and drive it. Now, it's interesting to note that the 1912 was the first year they introduced electric start to the Cadillac, but we're going to try it the old fashioned way. To start this particular car, you've actually got to turn the fuel on and that is under the front seat. You've got to turn the ignition on on the dashboard, set the advance and retard, then come around to the front of the car and swing on the crank. I'm guessing that's... Release. Yeah, yep. You won't roll anywhere. Right out. Now, do I need to do any of this first? Just bring that down a little bit to about there. Yeah. You get up and going. Right out. the brake. There. It's really funny having the throttle there. Give it some throttle. Let it burn that out of the bowl. Yep. There you go. Right out. Wee. Now, it's double clutch here. Yeah. Yep. I can't even release, get her out. Release again and then put it back in and then push out. <laughs> no, we're going to have to go back first, sorry. No, that's alright. It's, um, it's actually really quite torquey. Like, yeah. It's almost like that, you know, that low end kind of diesel torque. There's, yeah. there's no yeah. real need to rev it. Yeah. The, the steering, once you get over the, the sensation of the weight, the steering's actually quite responsive. Like it, yeah, once yeah. she's up and mobile. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's. Um, Pretty, pretty easy to steer. There's not a huge amount of slack and wander either. It's No, no, which is surprising. I mean, sometimes they can get a bit in these old cars and it makes it a bit interesting, especially on country roads, you bounce around a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. You know, they, um, this car, it's pretty easy. Mate, hey, you don't need to go to the gym. Like, considering that this was a car aimed at getting girls into cars. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, mate. Hey. Oh, yeah, I don't like They must have had some tough women back then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 